Well, thank you so much. Uh, we are coming to you from the Malamulele Magistrate Court, where the fifth suspect in the murder of the late Collins Chabani mayor has appeared in court. The 30-year-old Chianelo Munyai is among the five suspects, who, the five accused rather, who are accused of uh, the murder of uh, the former uh, mayor. Uh, Mr. Bigmos Maluleke. They are facing six charges, uh, including murder, conspiracy to commit murder, conspiracy to um, commit a robbery, and also robbery. And again, they are facing, among other charges, the attempted murder. You may remember that um, Mr. Maluleke was gunned down at his home village of Shikundu. And uh, during that incident, one of uh, his son was, was shot and wounded. So, but to get clarity and to get more reaction uh, following this court appearance, I'm joined now by the family spokesperson, Mr. Humphrey Mugagula. Thank you so much for joining us here on SABC News. Mr. Mugagula, the fifth suspect has been arrested. What's, what's your reaction as the family? Thank you and thank you to the viewers. As a family, we appreciate the work that is being done by the police to make sure that they are doing their investigation and then bring more arrest to the killing of our brother. This is something that is bringing the family to be close to the closure of exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And then you previously saying that uh, the police are not giving you information with regard to the suspects and the arrest that we made. You were actually hearing about the arrest from the media and so forth. Are you now getting first-hand information from the police? Let me say thank you to the police for taking our concern seriously as a family. Yes, it was happening like that before. We were just learning about the arrest of accused from the social media. But the moment we raised the concern with the police and the NPA, and then we saw much of a big improvement where the police had to inform us, like at hands, before anything happen or before we appear to court. So we are happy about the way things are happening now because we are getting all the information as we expected. You, as the family, you're saying that there are masterminds behind this whole murder. You, you don't believe that these people actually are the mastermind behind the killing of uh, Mr. Mayor. What, what, what's your reaction? What, what can you tell us about that? This is given by looking at the age of the accused that are appearing at court, you will tell that there are some big fishes outside there. Like today, I was so shocked and surprised about this 30-year-old who was appearing for the first time. He had the guts to say, I have a lawyer that is going to represent me. By me looking at him, he was so dirty that he can't even to buy a soap to bath himself. But he have a money to pay for the lawyer. Definitely you will be able to tell that there are people that are funding these young guys and then to do this evil thing, then they can pay bail and pay all the money to get them out of bail. That's why as a family we believe, and not only as a family, and also as a community, we believe that there are some big fishes that are the real mastermind in this issue. That one we were not going to change. And until we see more arrests, that's where we'll get a closure. And in those arrests that are still coming, that's where the mastermind will come out. And we believe in the work of the police. They have taken us as a family into their confidence that they will make sure that they had all the masterminds until they find them. Now we are happy that they are working with the local ones, the ones that were on the ground while they are sitting at home, watching us, talking and listening to interviews. But we are know that the police will get to them very soon as the matter is progressing. You know, in conclusion, um, how is the family coping now? Um, how is the family doing since the death and the burial of the mayor? You have to understand sometimes when death happened in the family, especially to the person who was not ill or sick, and then obviously we have to live in the state of shock. And then we did live in the state of shock for a period of a month and a two, but as time goes on, there was a time where we're moving from that state and then to go to the, ne the second phase where we have to accept that our brother is no more. We weren't able to see him anymore in the family. And then in that process, that's where when we have accepted 
before we can even close everything, we need to find more closure after have gone through the, the, the two steps that what really exactly happened? What has he done and then to deserve that kind of killing? So as a family, we are living with it, but knowing that whatever things that happen, it was not that we're expecting. But as time, we'll able to heal. But now we are still moving closer out of the acceptance stage so that we can heal. But the moment we get the true reflection of what happened by all these arrests that are happening and then we'll get to the stage where we'll heal. But it's not something that will happen in a month or two. I think it's a process. It comes with time. We will. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here on SABC News. That's the family spokesperson of the late mayor, Big Mos Maluleke, Mr. Humphrey Mukagula, you know, expressing uh, their concerns about uh, the um, current arrest. They're saying that they, they still need more people to be arrested, particularly the uh, mastermind behind this murder. I can tell you that this very same guy, um, um, Chianello, Munyai, the 30 year old who appeared in court today, is also linked to other murder cases and uh, a robbery around Toyando. Tomorrow, as we speak, he will be appearing in Malamulele Magistrate Court with regard to a robbery a case. And then on Wednesday, he will be appearing in Toyando um, with regard to the murder of a lawyer in that area. So now, back to you in the studio.